So Me Goes Missing by Stuart Manis, illustrated by Jenny Webb. In this story, there's going to be a few sounds that we're going to make together. So I want you to be my echo on those, and let's see how far we can get. Nobody knew where Somi was. Somi, where are you? called Mum. She went into the lounge. She could hear the grandfather clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. But she couldn't hear Somi. Can we do that tick tock with our tongue? I, I, I wonder. Let's see. When we get to that, I want you to do that part. Here we go. She went into the lounge. She could hear the grandfather clock. But she couldn't hear so me. She listened for an answer, but all she could hear was the leaking tap in the bathroom. It went drip, 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 drip. Can you do that drip? Drip, 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 drip. Let's do that. One more time when we get there, you do that part. She listened for an answer, but all she could hear was the leaking tap in the bathroom. It went Drip, 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 drip. Sometimes Somi used to hide in his wardrobe. So Mom quick, quietly tiptoed to the wardrobe doors and flung them open. But Somi wasn't there. By this time, Somi's father had joined in the search. He put his head out the window and called, Somi! But all he could hear was a bee which buzzed close by his head. When you hear that bee sound, Bzzz. I'll see if he's in the hut, said his brother. Somi and his brother had their very own hut in the branches of a tree at the back of the garden. Somi, Mum wants you, his brother called out from underneath the hut. There was no sound except for the wind whispering in the leaves. Swish, 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 swish. Somi's brother climbed up to make sure that nobody was there. Nobody was inside, but he could hear a fly, which was caught in a spider's web. It went buzz, buzz, buzz. Maybe he's playing with his friends over in the park, said his sister. She called, So me come home. When, when she listened for a reply, all she could hear was the echo of her voice, which came back softly. So me come home. 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 Just then a police car drove past the house. Its light was flashing and its siren went. It seemed to be calling. So me, so me, so me, so me. Mom and Dad were beginning to get worried now. What will we do, said Dad. Ring the police, said Mom. All the family stood by the phone and heard it ring at the other end of the line. Bring, bring, bring. Then Somi's father saw a big toe poking around the side of the sofa. The toe was moving up and down. Dad quickly put down the phone before anyone had time to answer it. Behind the toe was a leg. Behind the leg was a body. On top of the body was a head. On top of the head was a pair of headphones. Somi looked at them with surprise. His toe stopped tapping to the music, and he took off his headphones. What's the matter? We have been looking for you everywhere, they said. But I'm not lost. Somi put his headphones on and went on listening to the music. The end.